Hi, John Harrow with JPH Harrow Educational Systems. Today I want to get into communications. Communications is one of my favorite topics. I love talking about it. As a leader, since I talk about that a lot too, we need good communications. So today I want to incorporate two things communications and having the right energy. This was something that became important to me and something I need to learn myself. So I'm going to cut into my intro and we're going to go into communications. Okay, I'm back. Let's talk about communications and energy. You've heard me talk about energy many times. Well, on one of my videos I did. Energy, you could get it from within or from other sources. I'm not going to go through that again. You can look up that video. But one thing I learned was for me, energy became important and it came about when I was doing my public speaking or when I was starting it. I was doing a presentation at a club, a networking group, and when I get nervous, I shake real bad. And it's like my energy gets out of control, I get out of sync and things don't seem right. Well, a gal who was a hypnotherapist showed me how I could get this under control and get it in sync. And today I use her technique that she gave me. Plus, I now have made it, or I have become aware that I have all this energy that I have to control and you know, use in the right way. So that's basic what this video is about today. So we all put out energy, we know that. We have you know, energy just, we're energy type beings, we're made out of water. So electricity just flows through us. You know, all our connections are electric. You know, all the nerve endings and stuff like that. So this is important to keep this under control and understand how it works within the art of communication. Because with, when you're talking to somebody, there is that exchange of energy. They're either they're plus or minus. They're going to be either one or the other. See, I have a tendency of now, you know, I spew a lot of energy out. It what usually throws me off if I'm dealing with somebody who is putting energy out too. It throws me off. So, when I'm connecting and talking to others, because this has become very important when I am working with other people, communicating with them, is I have to, I had to learn to adjust my energy. And that's either grounding it out or bring it back up again. And I made a mistake once. It happened at work and I used the wrong kind of energy. And it went bad. This actually happened to me two times. And it went bad. And it was that same situation where they were putting out energy and I didn't know how to adjust it. And I had to learn to deal with that differently. And I now try to, when that happens, I try to make that adjustment. So I'm not putting out too much of my energy and trying to cancel each other out. And actually, this is sort of funny. I want to talk to you about a story my supervisor told me. That's not a story. I want to tell you a story. And she talked about one of the people I'm supposed to train. And she was, well, she keeps getting neutral surveys where she, people feel like she's neutral. And again, that falls with that energy thing. She doesn't know how to put that positive energy out there to make that good, solid connection. So when I work with her and train her, I have to address that. So learn the importance of communications and that energy that you're putting out there. You, you don't want to be 
too boring sometimes, or even neutral sometimes, or maybe even too much energy sometimes. You have to learn to fluctuate in between what you need for the situation you're doing. And that energy control is so important when you're communicating with people on a daily basis. It just will help you connect at deeper levels than you would never see before. So give it a try. Focus on that energy you're putting out there and adjust to it at the right levels. This is John Harrow with Communications and Energy. And oh, by the way, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really would like to build it up or you can register for my blog. I'm constantly trying to put out new content. Like I said, I'm going with self-development, leadership, and spiritual. And this is because of a book I've been reading, so I've tried to mix it up and the way I've lived my life. So catch you on the next video. John Harrow here. We'll talk to you later. Thank you very much.